Okay, here we are doing an update on this 1960 Ford Starliner. This one is Christine. It's a black Starliner with black interior. Yeah, we're getting closer to getting it ready to go on the road here. Alright, a lot of work has been done on this car by Tanner at Tanner Rebuilds. Make sure you go check out his content on YouTube to see a lot of the work in action here. But it's getting close to going on the road. Uh, let's check out some of the interior, some of the welds he's been doing. Okay, there it is. Looking at it from the back. It's got the Continental kit for the rear bumper. Here we come into the trunk. The whole trunk pan was holes and rusted like crazy before. So let's get it nice and solid. There we go. Check up the side here. It's got a lot of nice chrome on it. There's the three stars coming up the side. And as we come inside here, a lot of work was done inside. Right now it's gutted, except for the back seat. Got that in. Getting ready to finish the last couple welds and put the front seats in. Looking nice. If all goes good, maybe we can get this thing started here today. Coming up to the engine here. Okay, there it is. We've got a Y block. I believe it's a 292. We've ran it a few times, but every time it's one more time than before. It's never been driven on the road since we've obtained it. So one of these days soon, There we go with the passenger side view of the interior. It's looking nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get some fuel connected to this thing and see if we can start it up. Okay, we're going to hook some fuel up here and Battery. Try starting this thing. Good. Okay. 
Okay. Well, you can go on in and sit on the seat that doesn't exist. Yeah. Hopefully this month will come. Stretch for my feet from the back seat. Let me wiggle the turn a little. All right. Oh, hold on. I didn't tighten one of his uh, starter cable down. right up once we got the starter and everything connected good. Gotta get the fuel tank in it, fuel lines, brake lines, some seats, a little bit of welding to finish it, and then we can get this on the road one of these days soon. Keep watching. Okay, jacking up Christine here. I'm gonna put some jack stands underneath the rear so we can get underneath it easier to work on some of the stuff back there that we need to. Okay, there we go, got it up in the air not very high up but it'll allow us to do some welding underneath it yeah be nice if we had a lift <laughs> 